Let's hear it for Scott Fisher! Ronnie Thomas, the owner of this race car, Thomas Motorsports, Pitcher Trucking, number 21, sponsored by Paul Stein Racing Engines, Miller's Transmission, Delco Signs. And Scott works his way around the race car. <laughs> you can get used to this, buddy. Yeah, Lincoln Speedway. I grew up here. I was a little kid. I signed a lot of autographs tonight for little kids that are the age that I was when I started sitting down there in turn four. I'm a kid. I had a dream. Um, there's a lot of little kids out here that want to race race cars. I get the chance. I know there's a lot of people that would love to. Uh, my sponsor is Ronnie Thomas, Pitcher Trucking. We went over at Trailways a couple weeks ago. I forgot every other sponsor on the race car <laughs> besides Ronnie. But uh, Paul Stein Racing Engines, I felt bad. I, I said we blew up five times this year, which we did, and not one, not one of those times with Paul Stein did one thing wrong. It wasn't Paul. We had some machine shop stuff, just nothing we were doing, just we, we blew up and spent, Ronnie spent a lot of money. I don't spend nothing. Uh, we put a brand new set of tires on last week to start 24th. I said, Ronnie, we don't have no more new tires. He said, well, we're going to have to run. He said, you can drive the car. He said, you use what we have. He said, that's what we came from. Uh, you're starting up front. We don't have the money for the tires this week. Uh, run good, and we'll buy a new set of tires next week. We go to week to week, week to week. I have to thank, I uh, know I'm rambling on, but I have to thank Miller's Transmission, uh, Miller's Body Shop, Paul Stein Racing Engines, Logan's Drug and True Value, uh, Thomas Motorsports, Pitcher Trucking. This is his deal. He could, he could put me on the street next week, but I really don't think he will. I, I think he has a lot of faith behind me because if he didn't, he wouldn't stay in it. It's it, it, nothing. This is a dream come true, definitely. Well, you deserve it. It was a great run, and you know, you've had your share of hard knocks through time, and you have finally arrived. You want a trailway, and I'll tell you what, the trailway boys were like the top ten tonight. They all did very, very well. Isaac, the only one that doesn't run there regularly, but he ran there in the micros, and uh, so a uh, good showing by the guys that run on Friday nights. Isaac Sneeringer, he, he blows by me almost every heat race. The kid is awesome. I said that about Austin at Trailways. Austin, he, he's awesome. But this Sneeringer boy, and I don't watch the micro stuff. And, but my sister texted me, uh, did you hear Isaac Sneeringer? I said, no, I didn't hear of him. Uh -huh. And then uh, he comes out here and runs up front every week. He's, he's really good. I, I see he's got some good help there. Definitely nice car, really nice looking car. He's going to get his fair share of wins tonight. We started on the front row. Once again, we started on the front row. We should win from the front row. Uh, we got to. We got to pass some cars, and and hey, when you win the next week, you start a little bit further back. So, hopefully next week we can pass some cars. Eleven winners and eleven races. That's how competitive this division is. Yeah, this is this is fun, and uh, no pressure on Mikey Geist. No pressure at all. But uh, Bigleyville High School, Danny Dietrich just whooped up on them 410 guys, and and uh, Scott Fisher went to Bigleyville too. So, uh, Mikey Geist gets that 93 car into Victory Lane. Also sponsored by Pitcher Truck, and Geist is towing their whole deal. They park it over here, then uh, looks like Bigleyville High School. Uh, we might not be the smartest people, but we can race race cars. There's no doubt about that. I saw Pastor Dave back here. He looks like a biking dude tonight, and uh, that'll be interesting if, if Mike can get here. We have a uh, Central PA 358 race winner decal and a Lincoln Speedway race winner decal for you. Stopped in turn four to recognize the folks that sit where you did when you were a kid. That's kind of cool. I hope Bink and all them guys are down here. I threw washer boards with them guys 12. I was 10, 11 years old. My brother would bring me to the track. We'd park down there and play washer boards and hang out with them. I stole all them old guys' dollar bills. I think me and Bink partnered up on them other people and uh, just took our money. I paid my way into the races a lot of time on washer board money. But, hey, that's the story. That's the racetracks where I grew up, and this 
I, I want to be here until I die. I'd, I'd race a race car as long as they let me. Uh, right now, if Ronnie Thomas would, would stop racing, he, he always jokes he's going to sell everything and go up to uh, the cabin and sit on the front porch and drink beer. And, uh, if he does that, I'm in the bleachers again, but I've lived a dream. This is... I mean, I got to do it. I parked in Victor Lane at Lincoln Speedway. There's a lot of guys that haven't done that. You're absolutely right. Congratulations on the win here tonight. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Let's hear it. Fred Putney. Fred Putney, all, he, he does everything he can. First career Lincoln win for Scott Fisher.